I do want to take a quick look at Dom Esports and Buddy in the Bread. Take a look at who's playing for these teams. We have seen both of these teams on stream before. Let's just take a look at how they've progressed because it's been a little while since we've seen uh, since we've seen uh, both of these teams. What time is it right now in Pacific Time, Cast? It is currently 4.58, so... Uh, we're just a, just about two two minutes until we uh, until we get this match started between Dom and Buddy and the Bread. But like I said, let's take a quick look at the rosters real quick. So for Dom Esports, we've got Dividaya, Cads Ribeiro, and Tiago Souza, zero one zero five. All three of these players have have played in the circuit so far. The stats, uh, fairly even in most uh, in most of the uh, different categories. For goals, Thiago Sousa definitely the goal scorer, scoring more goals than, uh, or has a higher goals per game ratio than Dibidai and Cadrebero combined. So definitely pulling their weight there. But more than a save per game for all three of the players, and zero point two assists per game for Cads and for Thiago. And Dividai coming up with 0 0.4 assists per game as well. Three hours behind you, so I got time to decide. Okay, perfect chaos. Glad we got it, uh glad we got it sorted out. Welcome everybody who's just coming. I'm about to send out this lobby info in just a second. Oh, Dom is your team. Perfect. Only Tiago and Dividai will be playing tonight. Okay, good to know. So we won't see CADs. I believe we saw CADs last time, um, if I'm not mistaken. But but good to know that we'll be seeing Tiago and Dividaya tonight. And then moving on to Buddy and the Bread, we've got Buddy System 420 and X Wonder Bread X. I believe last time I accidentally called him Wonder Mike a couple times. All right, let me get this uh, lobby sound, and I'll continue with the little commentary. Uh, let's. There we go. Cool. So, like I said, we've got we've got Buddy System four twenty and one the bread for for Buddy and the bread. Let's talk about their stats as well. So 3.25 goals per game for uh, for this team. Let's combine between these two players. No subs for this team, so we are guaranteed to see Buddy and Bread. Uh, Wonder Bread, a, a bit more of the goal score for this team. And uh, certainly uh, plenty of uh, chances for saves on the defensive end as well. Buddy seems to be playing more of that support role where they're not getting a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the glory with the goals or even a lot of the hype with some of the big saves that you'll see, but they're, they're doing what they need to and they're getting their fair share of assists and as well, almost an, a full assist per game. But it looks like all these players are ready, so I'm not going to keep them waiting any longer. Let me make sure that I'm getting this, uh, Ah, there we go. Cool. So let's take it over to Champions Field, where we have got Dom Esports and Buddy in the Bread and Buddy System getting us started very early, only eight seconds in. And Buddy System has opened up the scoring for Buddy in the Bread, taking it right down the middle of the park off of the kickoff. An early lead, but obviously plenty of time for Dom to get settled in to find their rhythm. And hopefully make something happen quickly to turn it around and get it back to even. But Wonder Bread showing just why Buddy and the Bread is one of the best duos that you will see in the IGL. Not only do they share their the name for their team, but complete equals when it comes to their contributions on the field and how important both of these players are to this team. 
Wonderbread trying to take it onto the Dom side once again. And Tiago, ooh, barely able to keep it away from, from Buddy that was coming in. But Tiago able to get a dribble. Can they get it past Buddy? They cannot. But Dib is able to keep it on the orange half with a nice challenge. A quick one on Buddy system. Wonderbread going to be able to pick it up now. See what they can do with it. Try to find a third one. As I'm sure they will want to get this game over with as quickly as possible. Don't want to leave any chance for a comeback to happen. Especially when you can take advantage of the early lead. And they are going to make it three. Buddy System with a great pass in field just hangs there. Makes its way through to the middle of the park. I believe that was Tiago that came in from the side. And just didn't quite line up the, the save correctly. And Wonderbread able to make it 3-0. Just about a minute into game number one. Nice to see everybody hanging on in the chat. Be sure to keep it hype. Be sure to support your team. Remember, there's no, uh, no spam protection on Nightbot here on my channel. So feel free to spam as much as you like to support your team. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Uh, keep in mind, this is a Tier 5 match, so this is going to be your Diamond 1s and your Plat 3s for this 2v2 circuit. Oh, a bit of a backflip from Buddy, but... Oh, it was so close. A good opportunity for Dom Esports to try to pull a, a goal back. Oh, but with from both of the Dom defenders. Can this be a goal for Wonderbread? It is. Wonderbread going to pick up a hat trick. Buddy System able to dribble that one past Tiago and Dividian not able to get the clearance away as it rolls off that back wall. And Wonderbread able to strike it into the back of the net. VB Gamer, thank you much for the follow. I hope you enjoy all of the coverage that we have tonight of Dom Esports versus Buddy and the Bread. As Buddy seems to be running away with game number one, but we'll see how Dom can respond. And this next uh, half of the game is still only a little bit over two minutes in. So we've got two minutes and 45 seconds left. Plenty of time for Dom Esports to try to bring it back. But we'll see what they can do. Tiago going to give that one up to the orange side. So Wonderbread going to take it out to the sidewall. Oh, can they get a shot? Not able to get there before Dibidaya can. But Tiago Sousa is going to get the clearance away after Buddy tried putting another shot on that. Which I'm going to try to dribble it out now. Out to midfield, but Buddy uh, able to get it away before Dom was able to flick it into the orange half. It's a nice strong challenge from Tiago. Try to put it back at midfield. Just try to give themselves a chance at scoring a goal here. Oh, this could be a good opportunity. Oh, the shot was initially high from Dividaya. But it's going to go right in. Wonderbread not able to get the shot there. And they just fall right on top of that shot. Nothing Buddy can do there as the ball fa uh, falls right under their hood into their side of the net. And 4-1 to one now the scoreline for Buddy and the Bread. Dom Esports finally able to get themselves on the scoreboard here. And Buddy System with a good 50, trying to pull that one back, trying to preserve the four-goal lead, trying to bring it back. You can never score too many goals, because even at a three-goal lead, that lead is not necessarily secure. We've all seen three-goal comebacks. We've seen greater than three-goal comebacks before. So you can never be too sure. David Dye trying to get a shot there, but doesn't make contact. Tiago with the follow-up, but it's going to be saved away by Wonderbread. Tried to pick that ball up, but also the, the mid-boost. Try to give themselves enough momentum to force one through, but Dividaya stands strong. And is able to put it into the orange half. The follow-up going to be met by Tiago, but it's saved away by Wonderbread off the ceiling. And Dividaya looks to be there before Wonderbread, or before Buddy. And that touch does get a little bit over Buddy, so Wonderbread has to come in now. Tiago, oh, tried, I think... To get that uh, to get that touch light enough that they could follow it up, but it, it did end up just a little bit too far away from them. A uh, blast, uh, blast, 
Blasphemy? Is I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but also, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I uh, missed that initially. Wonderbread picking this one up at midfield. Tries to get it on top, but just not quite under it enough. And Buddy coming in with the shot. And that save was so close from Tiago. They did get the touch. Because we saw that they got the, the bicycle hit points. A little notification. They did get that touch, but it was barely not enough to keep it out of the net. Good pace on it by Buddy. And with 18 seconds left, the game seems to be in Buddy and the Bread's hands with a 5 to 1 scoreline. But Dom Esports did get their first goal of the series. And we'll see how well they how well they can hang on and try to bring themselves back into this series. You know, the one goal is a start. It's not a shutout, which is, you know, the upside for Dom Esports in, in this game. You do also have to consider that they do play on high ping because they are out of South America. You know, for the win what are we in spring? We're spring circuit. <laughs> there uh, no there wasn't a, a sand circuit uh, for any of our playlists, so the uh, South American players that did choose to compete, I believe most of not all of them playing in U.S. East, just to try and get as low of a ping as possible. Now, for those of you who may not be aware, South America is coming back for a few of our playlists for the summer circuit. I believe it's, uh, I know it's coming back for threes. Uh, I, I I believe that might be the only one. I think they're trying to reintroduce South America, so starting out with just threes. But nice to see those South American players continuing to compete in the spring circuit. Rough start for Dom Esports, but Buddy and the Bread certainly showing us why they need to be feared and why they can't be taken lightly. So we're about to head into game number two between these two sides. I do also want to talk about uh, where both of these teams stand when it comes to playoffs because this is the last week of league play for the spring circuit. Next week, starting on Tuesday, we're going to have our playoff matches. Starting, They take the extra day to make sure they got all the brackets sorted out. So nothing will be happening on Monday, but Tuesday we'll be starting to see all of these round of 16 matches start for the spring circuit. So Dom Esports, as you can see on the scoreboard, one and four right now. It's not been the greatest season for them. Part of that probably to do it uh, with the high ping. So always playing at a disadvantage connection wise. But overall, still not been greatest start for them. Their one win came back in week two against Oklahoma, and that team also very down towards the bottom of this circuit. But Tiago going to get Dom started with the goal scoring. Ball pushed out to the side by Dividia. Tiago cut in front of them, picking it up and getting the lift over the last defender. First minute gone by, and Dom Esports now have their first lead of the series as they go one up against Buddy and the Bread here in game number two. Absolutely, Tiago. Or Tiago. <laughs> it, was a, uh, it was a great lift uh, from Tiago Souza. It's a even more important one because if they can hang on and keep Buddy... And bred out of the blue side for significant portions of this game. Might just be able to tie it back up here. This dude I turns around on this one. But both players that were in that corner initially missing. Everybody sending it into the blue half. And might have an opportunity here. But Div is going to be able to get it out to midfield. But like I was saying. Uh, I'll try to pull it up. I'm trying to pull it up here, but if I'm not mistaken, there's only 16 teams uh, in this division. 
Let me see. Yeah, there are only 16 teams in this division, in Tier 5 Division 16. Of US East 2v2s. So all the teams in the circuit going to make it as long as they don't have two forfeits by the end of this week. So it does mean that Dom Esports and Buddy in the Bread are both going to be confirmed to be playing next week. At this point, it's really just about where in the standings they end up and who they ultimately end up playing against. Dom Esports currently in 15th. That one win helping them over the win over Oklahoma and it keeps them above Oklahoma. And the standings is Wonder Bread going to make it one to one here in game number two. A great 50 over on the right hand side. And they and Buddy both ready to just slam it into the back of the net. Make sure that it goes in. And they bring themselves back into the er, back into game number two. With a big equalizer. More than two minutes to go. Oh, Tiago, a big dunk. On Wonderbread, almost sent that one back into the orange net after the clear. But they uh, weren't able to get it all the way through that defense and now stuck on their own half. Wonderbread continuing to keep this one in the blue half. No boost, so they're going to have to bring it back. But Dividaya, big demo on one, forces Wonderbread into the save. It's going to be off the back, but Wonderbread looking to be there first. It's very close. Oh, and the back pass behind Buddy. I don't think Buddy System was ready for that. A little bit of a miscommunication there on who's going to take control of that ball when it got around the midfield spot. Buddy gets the, the bump on Tiago Souza and Dividaya pushing it up that wall. It's off the backboard by Buddy, but it's not going to really be in a great position initially for Wonderbread, so they're going to hold off, wait to challenge higher in the air off the side. Oh, it's a big miss from Dom Esports. And Buddy System brings it all the way back. Buddy and the Bread now up 2-1. to one. A big miss from the Dom defense right there. Should have been a clearance out to the corner, but it allow, that miss allows Buddy System to bring it back. And set themselves up to potentially go 2-0. For the series. Oh, Wonder Bread, a big beat there at midfield. Can they get around it? They cannot. Oh, and the patience rewarded from one from Wonder Bread. Recognizing that Dom Esports very, very deep in the orange half. And that they still had time to line up the shot how they needed to. Sends it to that back to that far post. And almost gave Wonder uh or I'm sorry, uh uh, who, whoever that was coming back in, a glimpse of hope that they might have been able to get the save, but it was not to be and Buddy System with a huge, huge kickoff 50 here, sending it into the sky. And Wonder Bread able to slam it down. A 4-1 to one now for Buddy and the Bread. The wheels starting to come off the cart for Dom Esports in this game. They're able to get themselves a one-goal lead early on, but they just have not been able to, to hang on. Scoreline look starting to look similar to game number one as Wonderbread's shot is saved by Dividai, but Buddy able to bring it back towards the net, get around that ball. It's a great save from Dividai, but it bounces right into Tiago Souza. Very, very unfortunate defensive play from Dom. And game number two looks to be over with only 20, 21 seconds left and four goals. The difference between these two sides. But in the bread, going to set themselves up on match point here. Things were starting to look very good for Dom. They held on to that or they were able to get that 1-0 lead after struggling to score in game number one as well. But unfortunately, in that last minute, minute and a half, things just did not go their way. But Dom had a couple opportunities 
And to increase that lead as well, four shots, two of them saved by Buddy and the bread, and obviously the one of, one of them being the solitary goal that Dom Esports has to their name in game number two. But another great showing from Buddy and the bread. Ruthless when they get their opportunities. Eight shots and five goals to show for it. So 10 goals total for them for the series. And I'm sure they're going to be very confident that they can take this series all the way and convert it into a win. But they will have to be wary of Dom Esports taking another early lead and being able to hang on to it. Let's also talk about Buddy and the Bread's position in the standings of the circuit. Now, overall, they haven't fared a whole lot better than Dom Esports has. They're currently two, uh, two and three on the circuit, standing in 12th place. It's kind of a rough start for uh, for for Buddy System and Wonder Bread losing all three of their uh, or their first three matches of the circuit, going down to Area Esports, Ginger Pirate, and Bald Guys Company. But weeks four and week five have been a lot more favorable. They swept Oklahoma in week number four. And then in week number five, beat always losing. <laughs> if you saw the way that they spelled it, you'd be laughing too. So uh, things are definitely looking up for Bunny and the Bread so far. As of these last couple weeks. Oh, Devadai. Oh, not able to reach it. But Diago is able to push that one away. A goal line catch for Dom Esports. Very close to giving up a goal in the opening stages. But it's still tied up as it stands. So ultimately, for these two teams, depending on what the outcome is, there is a little bit of room for movement. Now, Buddy and the Bread, if they can convert the sweep, can consider themselves some pretty... Uh, some pretty big movers this uh, this week. It's a couple teams that have already played their six matches, and the game win percentage is not all that different as at the moment. But if Buddy and the Bread can pick up the sweep, that'll be a huge, huge boost to their game win percentage, which is the uh, initial tiebreaker uh, after record for uh, uh, four teams in the IGL. So they could move up as far as somewhere around 8th or ninth. So they could even be in the top half of all these seeds, depending on if they're able to close out the series as a sweep and depending on a couple other matchups that still are yet to happen in the circuit. Adam Esports as well, if they're able to come back, it could see themselves move up a spot or two. Um... But they could still hang on to that 15th spot, assuming that Oklahoma loses their last match. So they may not be dead last, but I'm sure that they would love to pick up a win here and move themselves up a couple spots. And like I said before, both of these teams guaranteed playoffs because there's only 16 teams in the division. So it really just comes to trying to get that last win and earn themselves a more favorable seed. Things still tied as it stands here, but as soon as I say that, Wonder Bread comes in and scores exactly on the two-minute mark. Wonder Bread picking that ball up on the side. The challenge is not coming in early enough for Dom Esports. The recovery is not quick enough. Therefore, the challenges couldn't couldn't be uh, couldn't be there at that front post. And Wonder Bread's goal now. The only difference between these two sides. Dom Esports need to pull out something big here. 
Pass inside to Wonderbread, but he's going to get a shot on net. And it's going to be 2-0 for Buddy and the Bread in the space of only 20 seconds. They've gone from 0-0 to 2-0 and here in game number three. With this two-goal difference, Dom now needing to score as many goals as they have scored in the entire rest of the series in order to keep themselves alive. But it only gets worse as Buddy System is able to send it back on target. The initial attempt from Wonderbread sent away by Tiago Souza. But Dibidiah not able to get the right positioning there in net. And it's now 3-0 in favor of Buddy and the Bread. Still an opportunity for Dom to come back if they can somehow clean things up. It's a good touch away there from Dibidai, and it's a great follow from Tiago Souza to put it in this orange half. A little bit too slow there to get uh, to follow it up. And Wonder Bread is able to transition beautifully, but he puts it off the back wall. Almost goal number four for Buddy and the Bread. But Tiago's going to make it a two-goal difference now, just under a minute left. A great transition, a great counterattack from Tiago Souza. And two goals now that difference. Is this the start of an incredible week six comeback for Dom Esports? <clears throat> or will Buddy and the Bread be able to hang on? Tiago is going to get demoed there by Buddy. It's going to make things a little bit more difficult. And Dibidai not able to get contact there. They bump Buddy out of the way. A great play, but they still need to get two goals here quickly. Dibidai is able to get it out into the orange side. Oh, but Tiago not reading that, that shot correctly. Thankfully for them, it does come off the side post. And they're not going to get punished for it. Wonderbread sending it infield. And Buddy, I believe, got a bump there on Dividai. They're able to dribble it past Tiago. Can they get it through the last defender and on target? No rush from them as they have the, the goal advantage and time was on their side. But Buddy and the Bread going to take the sweep over Dom Esports, closing out game number three by a 3-1 to one scoreline. Not as convincing as games number one and two, but they won't care because they turned it on in the last moments when it mattered the most. And Buddy and the Bread going to tie up their series record for the circuit going three and three. Dom Esports now going to be one and five. But like I said, both these teams guaranteed to be playing again next week. So really, how they play from this point going forward is going to be the most important part for these two teams. You're very welcome, everybody, uh, for the cast. I'm glad, to, uh, glad I was able to have you both on stream again. 